Described by some as the kidney of China, Poyang Lake is the country's largest freshwater body, home to endangered species, migratory birds, local residents, and fishermen. The lake supports millions of organisms. However, droughts and dams are posing a risk to the lake. China View has more. Once the life source for millions of Chinese, Poyang Lake is now disappearing before their eyes. Home to migratory birds, marine life, and endangered species, it once covered an area of almost three and a half thousand square kilometres. But the lake, described as the kidney of China, is now struggling to support anything. Reduced to less than one tenth of its original size, locals' environmentalists fear if more isn't done, it will disappear forever. The iconic lake has an important place in China's history and culture. It was once the scene of what's been described as the largest naval battle in history, the Battle of Lake Poyan in 1363. Centuries later, it morphed into one of China's popular tourist attractions, sold as a bird watcher's paradise. More infamously, it's been dubbed the Bermuda Triangle of the East. On account of around 200 ships disappearing without a trace from the 1960s to the late 80s. Now the only death which awaits ships here is from idleness. Located in China's eastern Jiangxi province, in the lower reaches of the famous Yangtze River, Poyang Lake is subject to dramatic seasonal variations. In the wet season during summer, its surface expands quickly. Before then contracting in the dry season from November to March, the lake plays an important role in flood regulation and water storage for the Yangtze's lower reaches. Annually, it takes about 16% of the river's annual runoff. In the dry season, water flows back from Poyang Lake into the Yangtze. But continuing drought and the construction of 29 dams upstream, including the world-famous Three Gorges Dam. Are interfering with the lake's natural flows. At its maximum in 1954, the surface area was 5,100 square kilometers. Now at just 361 square kilometers, it's 25 percent below the lowest ever November figure since 1952. While the statistics are alarming, it's the visual images which hammer home the dire state Poyang Lake is in. This is smart wheat flower, a typical plant found here in the dry season. Last time I saw the flower was in September 2011, when there was a very serious drought. Last year the situation was much better, so I didn't see it. But I have never seen so large an area of smart wheat flower before. It has something to do with the drought. This stone bridge, built in 1631, is a novel sight for locals. That's because it normally sits under water. One hundred and fifty thousand residents rely on the lake to provide fresh water. The water level of Poyang Lake was above ten meters ten years ago, but ever since it's been dropping gradually. In 2012, it dived to 7.92 meters, and this year the dry season has come two months earlier. The water level is still falling. To ensure the water supply, we've had to put another seven pumps to work and move the intakes 80 meters. Lower water levels also means reduced fish stocks. In the 1990s, there was a prosperous fishing industry here. More than 30,000 fishing boats supporting 160,000 fishermen. In 1998, annual fishing output was around 72,000 tons. It's now 30,000 tons. Parts of the lake are now akin to a ship's graveyard. The number of fishermen on the lake is smaller than before. Many of them have abandoned the fishing and found jobs in factories. How long have you been fishing in Poyang Lake? We have been fishing in Poyang Lake since September, but we haven't made much money. It's not just humans who rely on the lake to survive. Poyang Lake is the world's largest reservation area for wild birds, providing a habitat for 310 species.
Each year, almost one million migratory birds fly thousands of miles from Siberia to spend winter here, including 98% of the world's white cranes, 80% of oriental white stork, and 70% of white-naped cranes. But rangers say their numbers are also decreasing. The shellfish and shrimps in the lake are dying out, which are the favorite food for the white storks, white-faced herons, cranes, and wild ducks. What concerns me most is how long and how well the migratory birds will stay here. This year, the food for the birds will be less, and the wintering period of the migratory birds will be shorter. And then there's these guys, China's finless porpoise. Only around 1,400 are left in the wild, and Poyong Lake is home to hundreds of them. With populations decreasing at a rate of more than 7% per year, ecologists fear they'll too disappear forever. The environment is destroyed, and birds like human beings are leaving for other places with more food. They will never come again if they don't improve the environment.